In today's video, I tried day trading using only moving averages for one whole week. I cannot use anything else to determine which trades I take and I must stick to my stop loss and take profit until one of them is hit. Trust me, the ending result is gonna shock you. What are you guys doing in my office already? That's how bad you guys wanted to see how this challenge went? Wow, guess I gotta do it now. You guys want it that bad. I guess we'll go ahead and do it. So I woke up this morning, just like any other day, you know, hung out with my wife and kids. And I thought to myself, I wanna do a YouTube video, but what can I do to entertain people? What's something that, you know, a lot of traders use, but still have questions about or need tips on? And I thought to myself, and I thought to myself, and boom, it hit me. I gotta take a shit. And then it hit me for real. Moving averages. Everybody uses moving averages, but not everybody uses them accurately or is completely sure how to use them. The question really is, can you use moving averages by themselves or do you need more? Do you need supply, demand, support, resistance, market structure? Do you need all these things? Or is moving averages simply enough? That's what I'm gonna try to answer for you guys in this video. Not only am I gonna answer that question for you, but we're using a real account. I'm gonna deposit $1,000 into a live MetaTrader account. We're gonna actually go on there, either lose money, win money, but it's all gonna be real, it's all gonna be live. Uh, it's a big risk. Let's just get into it, man. I mean, I don't wanna talk, I don't wanna bore you guys, I wanna get into it, I wanna show you guys the results, I wanna start. I mean, it's only Monday, we're gonna be trading for the next few days. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start by depositing money into the account. This is just unfortunate to do it with their money. So I'm gonna deposit $1,000 into the account, guys. As you guys can see, transfer amount, $1,000, pro account, low spreads, whatever the case may be. I hit continue. And then as you guys can see over here on MetaTrader, we have a balance of $1,000 on the account. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna be trading on the Athens broker. You guys know I love this broker. We got super tight spreads, really, really low commissions with tight spreads, which is really hard to find. The withdrawal process is instant. It hits you like that. So, you know, just a lot of benefits to using Athens. If you guys do wanna use them, there's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link, get started, and you too could trade on the best broker ever created. Now, let's get into it, man. One question I have though with this challenge is, uh, you know, what movie averages should I use? So let's go ahead and boot the computer up and uh, figure out what movie averages we're gonna use, what time frame we're gonna use, and what rules are gonna be applied to this motherfucking challenge. Let's get to it. So here's the rules for the challenge itself. We're only gonna be using a 50 simple moving average mixed with a 20 simple moving average. Seems to be favorited by a lot of you guys. I looked online, did some research. Everybody uses these two moving averages. So we're gonna be using the exact same thing. We're also only gonna take a sell or buy position if we're breaking below or above both moving averages in confluence with each other. Now, if I'm taking a sell position or a buy position, I'm gonna be pretty much having my stop loss either below or above, depending on obviously if it's a buy or sell where my 50 moving average is, which is gonna be red. So if, you know, let's say for instance, our red 50 moving average is 30 pips away, my stop loss is then 35-ish pips, okay? From there on, we're actually gonna have a one to two every single trade. If our stop loss is 35 pips, we're then gonna actually have a 65 to 70 pip take profit. The biggest rule is I cannot, and I have to stress this, cannot interfere with any trades. Once I hit buy or sell and I hit my stop loss to take profit, I have to leave it until one of those things get hit, okay? It can take all day, it can take minutes, depending on where that 50 moving average is and where our stop loss is being placed. The rules are very simple. I'm gonna be trading this for about three days straight, nonstop, all day, and um, we're gonna just see where the account is at the very end. Remember, this is a live account. I'm risking $1,000 here, so you know potentially I could lose the whole account or I could grow it. If I do end up growing it, I'm gonna be giving away every single dollar made to all of you guys, so be on the lookout for that giveaway if we're profitable. If not, then this made no sense and does not matter. And the last rule, I have 15 to 20 different pairs that I'm gonna be trading. I can trade any pair that I want throughout the week if it's active and it looks like a good setup or not even a good setup. If it crosses the way I said it needs to cross, I'm gonna take that setup random pairs we got nasdaq usd cash upjpy the list goes on and on as you guys can see on the screen lots of different pairs to trade that's it that's the rules good luck to me good luck to my account let's go ahead and get right into this challenge
All right, guys, so I'm actually looking at CAD JPY right now. We have a, a decent setup. We're moving above both moving averages, like I'm looking for. I'm gonna go and just take a long position right here. Boom, okay, because the stops are like, you know, right here, the moving average is so high still, we'll just kind of go below that candle right down in this area. So we'll have a nine pip stop loss. Target that one to two, and we'll see what happens. Actually, first things first, I should probably get in the trade, right? I should probably actually get in the trade, because that's something I didn't do. Chart, <clears throat> a little bit of a retracement, so that's good. We're not doing 50 standards, that's for sure. I don't want to risk too much, so we'll just do like a 0.10 for now, because I might have a bunch of trades to get in at some points. So we'll go do that, 0.10. As you guys can see, we're in our very, very, very first trade. Let me modify the stop loss, right? So our stop loss seems to be about uh, 104, 699, okay? And then we have take profit being, let's see, 104, 973. There you guys have it. We are 100% set up. Let's go ahead and see how this trade plays out. This is trade number one, remember, Trade number one doesn't mean nothing. Trade number five kind of does. Trade number 10, 15, definitely by then you should know if you're gonna fucking fail or not. But we'll see how things go, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna just go relax for a little bit, go eat, do something like that. And uh, we'll see how trade number one goes. If I see another trade or this trade ends, I'll be back for you guys. All right, you guys stay here, I'll be back. Oh, I should probably bring the camera with me just in case something happens. <laughs> All right, so I thought I was leaving. Looks like we have another setup. This time it's on gold. Gold's obviously more valuable than a lot of the other trades. But not only that, our stop loss is also way further down because our 50 moving average is way further down. So we got about a 24 pip stop loss, meaning we have about a, to get to a one to two, we're gonna go higher than that. Boom, we have about a 50 pip take profit. So here's our last trade of the morning. I'm not gonna look at any of the charts right now because gold is a little bit more strong. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this trade here on gold, as you guys can see. For we'll do 0 0.10 again, and we'll go ahead and hit buy, and we'll adjust our stop loss right now. But as you guys can see, cash APY is going good. Gold is just beginning. Let's see what happens, guys. Let's see what happens. Well, another trade. Euro CHF. I'm gonna enter this trade, do what I do, and uh, we're now officially in three trades. Check the progress of these two trades. Currently about to hit stop loss and break even on gold. About to enter another one, let's see what happens. All right, so, I mean, it doesn't look bad as you guys can see. We're up on Euro CHF, barely down on CAD JPY, and we're doing pretty decent on gold. Now, of course, gold has a long way to go, so does CAD JPY and Euro CHF, but overall we are in profit at about a dollar. A little over a dollar so everything's in profit except for cat jpy that one's not doing the best but gold is making up for it so you know that's kind of where we are you guys are going to notice a lot with this challenge is it's just going to be very bipolar here's the three trades we're in for the day at least for now i'm going to go ahead like i said leave i'm officially finally leaving to get breakfast i'm starving my girl wasn't ready to leave yet now she is so uh, we're going to go ahead and go get some breakfast and uh i'll check in on these trades in a little bit check the progress on our trades. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, really bipolar. Like we literally were just up a dollar and now we're down a dollar, but really bipolar, honestly. I mean, kind of up and down, up and down. This could literally take days for these to hit profit or stop loss at this point. Lots of consolidation, man. We've been in these trades for a few hours now. I guess we'll just stay strong and keep waiting. That's all we can do. Just pulled up to Walmart right now. Uh, the first trade of the day just hit take profit. So as you guys can see, CAD JPY has officially, oh, it's not there no more, hit take profit for $12. So we are currently up on the account, $12. Still waiting for the other two trades to you know, finish up, but we're officially up. So good start to the challenge. Let's see how the last two trades go. I'll start to kind of browse for a couple more uh, setups, but as of now, we're up, so it's a good start. So 
All right, guys. So I just got home. Unfortunate news. You know, Euro CHF it hit stop loss. I will tell you guys why it hit stop loss. It's very simple. Spreads came in very strong. Typically during you know the spread movements at 2 p.m. for me, which is like you know pre Tokyo, I either move my stop loss or completely take my stop loss off to avoid this situation. Unfortunately, you know, because of the challenge, I don't want to touch nothing. I want to keep things how they are. It did end up stopping us out and then moving right back to pretty much where it was. But, uh, you know, it's unavoidable. It really is. The good news is, is with gold, you actually don't have spreads come in and, you know, kind of get crazy and then the markets go crazy. Your stop loss gets hit. Instead, what gold does is it pauses from 2 to 3 p.m. Pacific time. Gold does not move. It just stays where it's at. And then at three, right before Tokyo session starts, it starts to move again. It'll go up, down, whatever the case may be. But um, you know, it, it just depends. It just depends with the other pairs, at least, what's gonna happen, okay? You gotta be very careful with that. Unfortunately, just to show you guys, you know, we did get stopped out and then it shot right back to where we were. So super unfortunate. But again, this is just all part of the trading game. I want to show you guys the account where it's at and all that good stuff so as you guys can see man we're at a thousand and seven dollars with 69 cents equity is a thousand and ten with 78 cents but obviously nothing's guaranteed yet we kind of have to see what happens we end up losing three dollars and 77 cents on this trade uh so you know there's kind of where we're at once the spreads do cool down a little bit i'm gonna go on i'll find new trades get in all these different trades and we'll come back and kind of see how we're doing but as of right now as the spreads are crazy i'm gonna chill take it easy and uh, pretty much just see you guys later tonight. All right, guys. So what I've decided to now do is obviously you can see gold right here is currently, I mean, we were up cool, like 15 bucks, ended up coming back down. We're up like six bucks right now. Um, just waiting. We're, it's just the waiting game at this point. It's either going to hit take profit or stop loss. There's only two things that can happen. What I want to do right now is look for all of the trades that are currently trading above or below the moving averages, um, more in like a close, maybe the last 10 minute range so we can get in these trades early and not like super late or anything. As many as I can find, I'm going to get into. We're going to actually close out tonight like that. And then tomorrow morning, we'll wake up, check the progress and see where we are after one day of using only moving averages while trading. So bear with me while I, uh, I go through and kind of see, see what's popping. All right, guys, we're officially in all the trades. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty decent. Like everything's in profit as we speak right now. I'm sure you guys can see on the screen. Um, really quick, as you see these are moving in profit, I'll go ahead and leave these on the screen so you can see them moving while I show you guys each uh, trade that we're in. It's very simple stuff, man. Looking at your odd, we broke above. Gold, we're still above. Euro USD, we're breaking below. USD CAD, we're breaking above. GU, we're breaking below. And uh, that's all the ones that we're in. So we're in one, two, three, four, five, six trades, guys. Six trades, and they're almost all in the blue. They're actually all in the blue now. So we'll go ahead and wait. We'll relax. We'll see how things go. I'm going to say one thing. I don't know how this is going to go. If the end of the week goes super duper smooth, trade this at your own disclaimer. You know what I'm saying? Like, this might not work for everybody. It could just be a solid week. I can always test this longer, test different strategies, whatever you guys want. Always let me know down below. But there's no guarantee that just because this works in one week or if it doesn't work, it's either not good or it is good. So keep that in mind, man. I'm just testing these out for fun. We're having a good time. I'll check back tomorrow morning when all of these hopefully hit take profit or stop loss. And we'll see exactly how the account went. And uh, we'll start day number two. All right. What's going on, guys? Just, uh, just now waking up. It's currently 9.35 a.m. On Tuesday, you guys are not going to believe what happened last night. Let me go ahead and show you guys where we are, okay? As you guys can see, the account is at $986. Every trade almost lost. Almost every trade. Well, I'm going to say every trade because four of them lost, two of them won. So not every trade, okay? As you guys can see, we deposited $1,000 into the account, okay? Made 12 bucks, lost 28 bucks. Negative three, negative six, negative seven, plus 22, minus eight. Plus 14, we're only down 13 bucks on the account. It's really not that bad. There's a lot of trades that just to go straight to profit. So like it hit stop loss barely and then shot into the you know one to two ratio win. However, this is where we're at. This is the account, $986. There's nothing we can do about it, but continue to trade. 
that's it. It's just one day. There's nothing to it. Now, today's a new day. We're going to trade a whole nother day. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and look through the charts right now. It's nine in the morning, so it's a little bit risky because of the spreads that come in in just about four or five hours. So hopefully we can get in and out of a lot of these trades. We'll see. I may just wait till after spreads and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to try to be a little strategic about this after the spreads come in later tonight we will go ahead and get in like 10 trades and just allow the same process so for you guys it's two seconds from now for me it's like seven hours from now i'll see you guys in seven hours slash two seconds all right one two see you. it is officially 5 p.m pacific time tokyo session started about an hour ago and a lot of the charts are starting to move pretty nicely i'm gonna go through getting as many of these trades as i can um, as long as they're showing what we're looking for is that you know crossover not even crossover with moving averages but we need to see price action crossover both moving averages okay so i'm gonna go through again look for all the trades i can once we get in all those i'll show you what we're in where we're at and then hopefully by tomorrow morning they'll all hit you know preferably take profit hope you guys are enjoying the video so far yeah i'm gonna start looking right now for some more trades here we go we are officially in seven different trades a lot of good swoops a lot of good uh you know trades crossing over those moving averages just to show you one example as you guys can see gj was kind of in consolidation we then broke above those moving averages and now you know we're gonna see if price can find itself going up through this you know clean traffic zone over here and potentially hitting take profit again um, another trade that i didn't expect to take but i am is nasdaq we crossed below the moving averages and right back above so i am taking a buy position here one to two as usual and we're going to kind of just see what happens a lot of you guys are probably wondering why am i just you know blindly taking these trades it's just a challenge a lot of people think that you can trade just using simple moving averages i'm not looking at or i'm not allowed to look at trend lines market structure support resistance consolidation none of that stuff i can't look at that if what i say happens happens i have to take that trade stop loss is going to be a regular stop loss you know just below the uh, 50 moving average or above it and my take profit has to be a one to two it's the same thing every single trade so we'll see what happens guys anytime you guys or anything else you guys want to see in the future challenge wise let me know whether it's just support whether it's trading just based off of trend lines whatever you guys want to see let me know and i'll test it out and i'll try it and we'll see what we can do in a week but I'm gonna come back to you guys probably tomorrow morning when all of these close out and we'll see where we are after just 48 hours of using only moving averages to trade Forex. I forgot to show you guys all of the trades we got into, but as you guys can see, overall we're down about four bucks and uh, everything's moving. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Usually I might hit take profit here in a second, but anyways, we'll update you guys tomorrow. Good morning, another day, another dollar. Probably wondering what's in my cup, what am I drinking? I'm not drinking nothing. Real millionaires do not drink fluids whatsoever. Water, juice, nothing. Anyways, I um, woke up today and you guys are gonna be really shocked with this. Check it out guys, as you guys can see, we are officially sucking balls right now. Two wins out of seven trades, man. As you guys can see, you know, overall we're down 45 bucks. The account's at 9.54, so we're not doing too well. We're not doing too well. But good news. I wouldn't call this good news. We're in another eight trades. Um, they look like whatever right now. We're currently down like three bucks, four bucks. It's moving so much. So another eight trades. These trades, by the way, have all looked really good. Um, really nice moving average crossovers. Very clean, fresh moving average crossovers this this is what we're looking for so hopefully it, it, it goes well this is going to be the last day i'm leaving out of town and um you know let's just see this is going to be potentially 20 trades taken and anyways guys i'll come back to you guys on all these trades hit hopefully take profit and uh, we'll go over pretty much how the week went what the win rate was what the uh win percentage was and um whatever i'll see you guys in a little bit oh. my god you guys are not gonna believe how we ended the week you're just not i kept saying that and i kept saying you guys are not gonna believe this clickbait whatever the case may be this is not clickbait and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you exactly why okay 
We ended up taking a total of eight trades this morning. Six of them, okay? Six of them hit take profit, okay? <laughs> Did not expect this, but we only ended up losing $20 on the week. Now, let me explain something to you guys. Don't look at how much we lost. I traded NASDAQ, I traded gold, and I always used a 0 0.10. I didn't adjust to what I wanted to risk. So I didn't like risk 1% per trade. I risked whatever the random you know amount was based on where the stop loss was, based on where the moving average was. So realistically, I'm gonna break this down to you and show you guys how this was actually a winning week, okay? This is just, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. All right, guys, we're doing the final breakdown, okay? Our balance of $1,000, is now $979. Remember, there's also swap fees, all that good stuff. So realistically, it's probably more like break even. But again, let me break this down for you guys, okay? As you guys can see, we had a total of 11 wins this week, okay? We also had a total of 12 losses. So if you really look at it, yeah, we had more losses than wins, but come on. 11 wins 12 losses on a one to two ratio i believe all of you guys watching this understand that if you're trading a one to two and you have 11 wins 12 losses which puts you at exactly 47.7 percent win rate you're positive you are 100 percent positive now let's say for example i risked a thousand dollars per trade so i'm going to lose a thousand per trade but i'm going for two thousand dollars in profits with that being said 47% using a thousand dollar risk on a one to two ratio would have got us a total of ten thousand dollars. We would have made ten grand just this week if we would have just risked one thousand dollars per trade at a one to two ratio, meaning we're gaining two thousand dollars per win. We would have had a profitable week, which we should have had, but unfortunately, I just did 0.10. I wanted to stick to just using the same lot sizes. The biggest problem is is that we had you know Nasdaq. For one, we lost like $30 just on NASDAQ alone because we can't risk less than you know 0.01 trading NASDAQ. So realistically, we can't actually adjust our stop loss to uh, the risk on that one in particular. And then with something like gold, if I wanted to risk the same as the other pairs, I could have simply just risked 0.03 and it would have been about the same as a 0.10 on another pair like Euro USD or whatever the case may be. So in terms, I mean, it's a profitable strategy. It worked this week. I can't sit here and say it's profitable forever and it's always going to be profitable every week. But this week in particular, in 72 hours, we did end up showing that it was a profitable strategy. It worked. Um, I will never trade like this again or use it on my real large account. I like my strategy better, um, but it worked and we had, a, we had a solid week, a positive week. So cheers to that. If you guys enjoy the content and you want to see more challenges, breakdowns, anything like that, please let me know. I'm really in the mood to do challenges, real life videos, vlogs, and all that good stuff. So just let me know and I'll, I'll get it out for you guys. I'd love to see the recommendations. Love you guys. Peace. See ya. Deuces. Subscribe. Like. Instagram is MombFX Trading. Follow me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.